Hey guys, bringing you a quick do-it-yourself computer repair video today. Uh, I realized that I have a general video already for a Dell key replacement for the large keys, enter, shift, space keys, the large keys, but I haven't made one for the smaller keys. Haha, <laughs> I must have spaced it. Um, so I'm going to show you a video today showing you in general for a Dell computer how to replace a uh, small key, normal size key. Uh, so I'm going to bring this computer over here, zoom in. All you pretty much need is a small flathead screwdriver for this operation. You don't really need anything else. All right, zoom in there. All right, oh, looks like it's in the middle. All right, so what you want to do here to replace this key, uh, you want to get your flathead screwdriver underneath this key cap, which is the top part, but underneath uh, you want to get it on top of the retainer clip. Uh, that's under this holding it down. Uh, so I'll do it real quick and then I'll show you what I'm talking about once I get in there. Um, so peel that up a little bit, get the flat head under there. Okay, so that came off relatively easily. I'll put that off to the side. As you can see here, my screwdriver is holding down the retainer clip, this white portion. Sometimes they're also black. Uh, this is the retainer clip that holds that down uh, and it's very thin plastic, oftentimes if you peel that top part off without holding this down, you'll break it. Uh, so it's made up of two parts that are interconnected to each other. Uh, that allows for that, that accordion motion as it comes up. You also have this rubber bouncy component in the middle that's held on by glue. Be very careful not to rip that up. They're very hard to get back down after. So in order to take this off, uh, they're generally laid out in the same way. You have two metal pins toward the bottom corners two metal pins toward the top corners. We're going to look for the metal pins closest to the edge, which in this case is the top. Um, so I'm going to take my fingernail, I'm going to push up as much as I can to get some wiggle room. And then with my flathead, I'm going to slowly and gently try to pry out from under the metal. I'm going to try to pry this plastic part out from under it. So turn this around real quick so you can see what I'm doing. Here it goes. Try not to break it. Other side. All right. Okay. I didn't break it. Nice. All right. So put this over here. I'll put it down here and get a general look of it right there. So that's the retainer clip. This is these two holes near that corner and this hole near this corner. That's what was underneath the metal pin. So as you can see, very, very thin, very, very easily breakable. If you do break it in this process, that's probably where you'll do it. Uh, so that's how you would get it up safely. Now, in order to put it back down, move this back here. In order to get it back down, we're going to go in, re in reverse. Instead of taking the bottom off first, like, or I'm sorry, instead of taking the top off first, like we did, I'm going to put the bottom back in first. So put that bottom part back in there. So I'm going to get the bottom in first, get it wedged in there underneath its metal clips. And then when that's pretty well centered, I'm just going to push in on the top corners and those should just snap in place. Just like that. And then when you bring your key over, place it on there, get it pretty much centered again and just press. Oop. Do I have it upside down? Yes, I do. It's an O. Upside down. There you go. And that's how you would repair that key. Uh, that may take you a little bit of time if you're not used to doing it. Um, just be patient, do trial and error. Uh, you'll be able to get that in. So if that takes you a lot of time uh, to figure that out or get that on, uh, most likely it, it's a few things. It could be because the retainer clip is not in there properly, uh, the key cap is not centered properly, or maybe even your retainer clip has been damaged. Um, so take your cap off. Check the retainer clip, make sure that it's not damaged in any way. If you need to compare it to another one, uh, do so. Uh, but that's how you would fix that uh, normal size key. If you want to see how to do one of the larger keys, enter space shift. Uh, they do look a little different underneath. I'll have a link in the description on how to do a Dell uh, larger key. So if this was helpful, please like and share. Uh, subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself laptop repair. And any questions, leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, guys.